So this one right here is Logan's other power wheels. It's a Lightning McQueen. Yeah, so right now he's trying to work on something that he keeps talking about turning on dirt. You have to turn right to go left or something like that. So that's why the car looks like this. I don't know if you guys have ever seen the movie Lightning McQueen, you probably know what I'm talking about. Here it is, this is Logan's birthday surprise. We pretty much built this car to match the GT500. The GT500 has a wrap. If you guys are new to the channel, my GT500 was originally black. We rewrapped it to basically look like this power wheels here you're looking at. We built this for Logan, but this power wheels, it's one of a kind because this thing right here has basically been Frankenstein because it's a completely different front end with a different front bumper. That hood came off a different year of this actual car because the taillights on this thing are different as well. The spoiler actually isn't the original spoiler that came on this body style power wheel. So basically this is a couple different year Mustang power wheels that were produced and Frankenstein into one to replicate the GT500 as well as we could. And I did put the Cobra Snake on the side. These are the actual original Cobra badges that come on the Terminator Cobra. He's gonna be super excited. And it's set up for two batteries. I don't have a battery in there yet. I had the batteries over there on the charge. So it'll have a full charge for little man. That's my RV in the background. If I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it's right there. That's the dryer. There's two different hookups right here. It's got one for the light. So this thing's got some underglow. Yep, there. Two switches right here on the dash. You've got that one, which is your headlights. Then you've got this switch, turns on the underglow. And he's gonna love this. Working taillights, because normally these power wheels, they don't have working taillights. There's actual LED strips that my Power Wheels guy wired up for me. If you guys remember the original Power Wheels that we got from Logan, this is not that one. That one is still over at Randy's shop. We're probably gonna rewrap the GT500. When we rewrap the GT500, we'll probably make that one match the new wrap. That's awesome, he's gonna love it. My guy Nick, man, he did an awesome job. He knocked this one out of the park. This is like his thing. He's like our local Power Wheels guy that builds these things. So he said he, after this one, he said he's done, he's gonna retire, but I don't know. I just saw on Facebook, he went and picked up a few more, but we'll see what happens. Cause I told him after I share this with everybody, he might have some more customers wanting one of these built to replicate their Mustang or whatever car they had. Cause I mean, he's done Jeeps as well, but he says he's gonna retire and give it up. This right here was basically just a hobby for him. I don't know, I'm probably more excited to show this to little man than I probably should be, but he's gonna absolutely love this. If any of you guys have kids, you probably understand where I'm coming from with that. I never had anything like this when I was a kid, but hopefully he doesn't tear it up, which we all know. She's gonna, she's gonna have some battle scars on her. Let's get to the unveiling, the birthday party. I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna really vlog at the birthday party because, you know, I don't wanna have a camera in everybody's face. I'll probably record a little bit. Hope you guys understand, but anyways, Let's get to the birthday party. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Blow out the candles. <laughs> <laughs> Hit the button, hit these switches, buddy. Yeah. Headlights and an underglow, which you can't really see from here, right? <laughs> yeah, hop in, Dave. The two, birth yeah. the two birthday yeah. people. Yeah. Here, hold on. <laughs> there you go, take all over that. <laughs> there you go, I'm leaving you behind. If I call you my dad, can you give me one too? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on, buddy. 
party. Stole my old man's concert, just wish me luck. Guess I am my father's son. Cause he did the same when he was my age. Sirens and the flashing lights. In the 30s, I'm pushing 95. <laughs> <laughs> What are you checking, buddy? Logan, what are you checking? Logan, learn from Daddy's lesson. Remember what happened when Amanda drove the go kart? All right, don't don't let other women drive. No. <laughs> He's like, oh yeah, that's right. Just trying to get to you in time. We are supposed to be right here with me. Life goes by fast when it slows down. We got older, where did it go now? Back in time when all we had was you and me. These What do you think? It's fast. Is it fast? Yeah. Can I get a look? Can I get out? No, I want to drive. <laughs> this morning, a growing risk on the road. More Americans finding the need for speed. With far less traffic since stay at home orders, highways that used to be jam packed now look like racetracks. This police radar near San Francisco caught a driver going 124 miles per hour. A Maryland driver was clocked at 136. People think that because the freeways are empty, that it's okay to speed. Judge has the authority to take your license for 30 days. Not to mention, if the CHP ends up impounding your vehicle, so you're also looking for that fee. Donuts in the middle of intersection, all caught on camera. Homeowners say it's an accident that's waiting to happen, and our tenders reporter Laura Acevedo took the videos to police to find out why there aren't more protocols. Here. You can see the skid marks in the middle of the street behind me. Neighbors want the police to do something before someone gets hurt. Lindsay Fritz moved in just a few months ago and says the group comes out almost every day. A viewer sent us these videos, the teens spinning in the intersection. The skid marks covered the middle of the street. Homeowners say despite dozens of calls tonight, officers don't get there in time. The police take approximately 15 to 45 minutes. So we took the videos to the police department, who said this was the first time they were seeing them. They explained there's only so much they can do if they're busy taking care of other more important calls. All right, babe, so you got to give that. Whoa. Yeah, don't let that hose get you. You got to give them a garden update, hon. I need an irrigation system. Yep. So, uh, P.O. Box will be in the description. Just, just kidding. Little man, just watched the video that you guys are watching because sometimes I'll film my videos, then I'll come and like wrap them up if I never wrapped them up in the video. So then I'll just pick up the camera and just go and wrap them up. Little man wants to explain to you guys because he kind of got a little upset because he's like, are the police after me? You want to tell them who was the one pushing that power wheels? me. All right, babe. You want to give him a tour of your, or give everybody a garden update? You want to walk over there? What are you watering right here? Well, don't show these because I haven't watered for two days. Why was that? Because of you. 
You want to see my uh, cucumbers? They're doing yeah. really good. Are you going to do some garden modeling for us too? She's got all these raised beds in here. And this thing over here, let me let me show you guys this. I don't know if any of you guys are into this gardening stuff. I'm not really into it. But this is a pile of cow poop. Cow poop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we get that from the neighbors. So she she calls it what it was mama call it the tea or something? Poop tea. Poop tea? Mm -hmm. Don't show all the weeds. Why? I got to corn, green beans, and some zucchini, and that pumpkin popped up all by itself. They're growing pumpkins. Any corn popping up? No, not yet. Yeah. What else we got, hon? What you said? Cucumbers. See the pick. There's one there, and there, there. Oh, two here actually. Right there. Green beans? Where are they at? I don't even see them. Here. And then... She made potatoes the other night. Can I see you dig some up? Oh yeah. Let's see you dig some yeah. tighter. These up. are all tomatoes? Yeah. This is a big difference from the last time I think they saw the garden. Yeah. You pulled these, Logie. Some Some taters. Ooh, look at all those taters. Look at that. You getting the potatoes? You dropped one. Mama, can you help me? Yeah, I used to have a bucket out here. Let me get my... Mama, can we make potato tots? Potato tots? <laughs> yeah, we made them the other night, didn't we, hon? All these came from one potato. That, isn't that so cool, buddy? Potatoes. Wow, there's a bunch. And these potatoes, it's it's not like store-bought potatoes. When you eat these, they're like, how do you describe? I don't know. It's like you actually taste a lot more of the potato. Yep, yeah, there's one. Potato. That's awesome, babe. See, there's some little baby ones on here. Yeah. Hello, baby. They're cayenne peppers. And then she's got stuff in these raised beds over here. Lima beans. These are peas. Beets. Yeah, I can dig one of these up. Dad, Dad. They're pretty, like, ready. Are the beets ready? Yeah, there's just... Get it, girl. Ooh, look at that. Got the beets. Peppers and then okra. Wow. So and more zucchini and... Oh, Dad, these... Dad. These are called Minnesota Miniatures. These? Yeah, they have a, they grow fast. What are you going to show, bud? Peas. These are the peas, but now we're going to eat them to grow more seeds. We can plant them next month. Those? Yeah, the seeds. So, let's wrap this video up, hon. Okay. We're going to go ahead and wrap this video up. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Everybody drop a birthday wish in the comment section for a little man. That power wheel's awesome. You like it? Mm-hmm. You do? I wanna go ride it. Okay, you can go ride it. All right, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And I will see you guys in the next video. Give them the outro, buddy.